Thank you, Mr. President. Now, um, it is true that the UK use of the Schengen uh, police database is um, partially excessive and illegal, but also it's partially in insufficient. That is something that would have to be stressed more, I think. So it's not only a huge violation of the right to privacy, but it's also uh, about our security, right? The UK is not synchronizing the database, which means if somebody, some arrest is entered into it, um, it will not be visible there. The, the suspect can escape via the UK, right? So this is a huge risk to our security. They actually manipulate the entries. They change uh, what the requesting police authority has asked their colleagues to do. Uh, they change flags. So this also results in huge risks for our collective security. And therefore, um, I want to point out that firstly, the delay in answering this question is not acceptable. It's a violation of um, the parliamentary rules. And secondly, the refusal to answer today orally is also not acceptable. Um, it, there, it is quite clear by the rules that the Commission has an obligation to answer to questions. These documents shouldn't be um, secret in the first place because they reveal uh, violations of EU law, and they shouldn't be have been kept from the uh, scrutiny group. I agree with um, Claire on that. We should indeed, um, as Sophie and the Welt said, um, suspend um, the access to the database, not agree to um, the UK continuing to use it under the new arrangements, and we should follow up on this. And I would like to know from the Commission, if you won't answer um, in this framework, due to the confidentiality of the report, can we not make sure that we have a hearing, for example, a closed doors hearing, to set up a framework for you to be able to answer um, our questions? Now, please let us know what you need and uh, under which conditions uh, we can establish a, a dialogue and an exchange on this, um, because we won't uh, let you get away with uh, not answering at all.